Welcome to African Culture and Nature. It's me, Adon Jacqueline Nyalwo. Today we are going to be preparing one of another Lao traditional food, a Lao traditional delicacy, which is Vigna and Kulata. In the Lao language, it is Bojo. With our brothers and sisters in the Choli sub-region, they call it Bo. In the central part of Uganda, it is Ngobe. In the eastern part of Uganda, which is with the Itesots, they call it Ebo. So that is basically what we are going to do today. It's one delicacy that we are going to make and we use raw sim sim. It's what we are going to make. For now, I'm going to start with sorting it. When it's done, I'll let it to wilt a bit. I'll take you through the whole process until the part when it's done and we are going to have it with sweet potatoes. You can have it with also uh, millet bread. You can have it with cassava according to your choice how you like it but for this one I'm going to be preparing my my aguacha with sweet potatoes which is a chalk okay so I'm done with this I'm going to put it in the sun to, to leave it to wilt a bit the reason why we put it in the sun is for it to get off some of the soil which is in and then if there are some small insects which is in, the sun lets it to move away. So I'll leave it for some few minutes in the sun and then I'll bring back and then I'll chop and then we cook. Okay, I'm going to leave it for about 10 minutes. You can leave for 10 minutes or less depending on how hot the sun is. Okay, I'm now changing. I want the one which was up to go down so that the downer ones also get to wilt. They all have to wilt equally. Then afterwards again now I'll come and pick it. I'm just changing so that it all wilt equally. I'll go and pick again after now like 10 minutes then I'll check and then I'll chop chop. Okay it has now wilted already and I want to go and chop it now good let me put here I need to bring my calabash okay. I'm going to be using this now now you see my vigna and quiculata how it is the, the leaves have become weak it's not like how it was fresh in the beginning that is how you tell that it has now wilted now this is to remove the soil completely if it has not wilted the soil can't come out but with this the soil comes out okay this is good to chop it yeah the soil now remains in the winnowing tray I'm going to bring it back then I'm going to chop you chop them into fine pieces you need a sharp knife for this and then you can start chopping into fine pieces this is a very nutritious vegetable I'm going to make a guacha there are other ways you can prepare this other than a guacha you can just paste it with sim sim paste or you can cook with raw ground nuts you can also cook with raw sim sim like I'm going to cook. I'm going to use raw sim sim for cooking pounded ones. And we call that a guacha.
my vigna cuculata is almost done. Should make them in very small particles. Because sometimes it has the stock also, a little bit of the stem, so you have to chop them into finer particles. Okay, this is now okay, it's now fine. We are now going to prepare. We shall now go to the kitchen. We'll prepare from here. I'll bring my pot. I need to adjust this. I need to adjust because it was big to the point where it's going to fit my pot when I bring. Okay. I'm going to have this. I'm going to support it a little bit to give it more so that it's here. I'll use this. I'll make the water to boil first. And then now I'm also going to add in ash filtrate. We tend to use a lot of ash filtrate in our traditional food, especially with vegetables. That improves the taste. While the water boils, I'm going to be preparing my ash filtrate. We we'll call it kadatwana in our local language. That is ash filtrate. Okay. I'm preparing my ash filtrate. This I'm going to use to support my pot where I'm going to do my ash filtrate from where I'll filter my ash and to get the filtrate. This container I'm going to put in ash. This is my water. I'll get some ash from here. Now I'm getting ash from here. You must be very careful on what you're using to filter your ash. If it is a plastic material the ash, if it is hot, it is going to melt it up. But mine is, it is clay, so it's okay. And this ash also, it is not hot. That is why I'm using my hands to, to get it. Down here, there are some small holes. You must make a small holes if you're like using a plastic material. You make small holes so that the water from the ash comes out. I have holes in here. Okay, this is enough. I'm going to put here, when the water is coming, the filtrate is coming, it's going to go into this pot. So I'll put it here. I'll put, add in water. Okay, I'll add in some little water. Okay, this is enough. I've put in enough water. I'll wait for some time until when the filtrate is there. Then I'll add on to the water which is in the pot for boiling. Then after I'm going to bring my vigna and culata and then put inside there. This is bojo. You strictly bring it into boiling water. If you bring your vigna and culata and you put in water which has not boiled, it will not get ready. And also if you don't add in this ash filtrate, it doesn't get ready as well for the way that I'm going to prepare it. So that is to make it become very soft. So we are now going to where I'm cooking. My water is boiling ready. It's already boiling. 
I'll add in some firewood. Adding in some firewood. My ash filtrate, which I put earlier, is ready. This is my ash filtrate. Yeah, it is good. A good ash has to have some taste. I'll add a little, not all. If you put too much, it also tends to spoil the taste. That is enough. Give it some time for the water to boil fully, completely. This is my chopped vigna anculata, boyo. In my language, it is called boyo. I'm going to add in. I'm going to add in. I'll give it some time for it to cook well and become soft until the point where I'm going to be adding my sim sim. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover my sauce. This is the cover for my pot. I'm going to cover it. I've covered it so that it gets ready fast. Okay, it is now boiling. It's that point that I'm going to add now my sim sim so that they get ready together. I'll add in sim sim, raw sim sim which I've pounded and also grinded it. I'm adding in sim sim, raw sim sim, raw pounded sim sim. It. Give it time. It's almost now boiling shall continue to cover it while it's getting ready I'm checking the salt I'll add a little salt just very little since the other time we put on the sim sim when I was pounding adding in a little salt I'll leave it to continue to cook. I want to check on my sauce. Okay, it is now ready. It's ready. Wow, you see? This is my aguacha. It's now ready. It comes like this when it's ready. It's mixed up. 
so I'll have it down. I'll cover it. My aguacha is now ready. I'm going to bring sweet potatoes, which I'm going to have with. Had ready cooked it. This is my sweet potatoes. I need to wash my hands so I can test what I've cooked. Mm. It's testing time. Can't put. This is how your nice aguacha should look like. You see my sweet potatoes? I cooked it earlier on. Back in the days we would not peel. So this is how we cook our sweet potatoes. I'm going to test and see how nice it is. It's nice. I love this part. You're welcome. This is aguacha. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to always subscribe. This is another of our African traditional cuisine that we have brought to you. We shall bring you more. Thank you so much. Apoyo Matek.